Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is my August plans and fabric haul. Now, I haven't bought any new fabric for this video. Is that the truth? Yes, yes it is. Two of these are gifts and one of these I've had for years. <laughs> um, the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm going to the Festival of Quilts next, next week so there's going to be a huge fabric haul from that because you know I have no restraint. I have no restraint. I wasn't supposed to be buying any fabrics for the last two months leading up to the Festival of Quilts and then people kept showing me things and I have no willpower so you know. But this is from the stash or from gifts. So I have my bullet journal with me here. I have super ambitious plans again. Now just, <laughs> I mean, just to remind ourselves, last month I planned on making around about 10 things and I got one, two, three, four, five, five sewn. So yes, you know, it's one of those things. One of those things. I, I I bring these super ambitious plans to you and you know who knows what you're gonna get in your lookbook at the end of the month but usually there is something so there is that. Anyway so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this month's sew along. So the lovely Patreon peeps have picked the Butterick and I'm going to put a picture here for you. Butterick 6018. Now when you pick this one I was really excited because I've had this in my stash for a while and I really really like it. Oh and I've got the larger size range as well so that's going to be interesting. I might need to see if I can get the smaller one for the bodice. Hmm interesting but we shall see. I've had this in my stash for a while and I absolutely love it but I was a little bit worried about all of the panels Oh, fitting over the waist and then flaring out from there but you know what I'm gonna give it a go because the peeps have spoken so I, I when you pick this one I was like oh yay and then I went to my stash and I was like oh what do I make this uh, or what do I make this with because to me this isn't especially with the weather we're having at the moment in the UK which is around sort of like the late 20s early 30s and for me in that weather I want to be wearing stuff that has very loose sleeves I don't want to be wearing stuff that's very fitted to the bodice so for me this dress is kind of reading as a spring autumn dress and as quite a few of you have pointed out the view a with the little turn back cuffs if it's going to be a spring autumn dress I will more than likely want to wear it with a little cardigan over it and those cuffs would get in the way I can I'm not ruling this out as a summer dress but I just know that at the very moment in time I wouldn't want to wear this. I probably want to wear this in about 24-25 degree heat without a cardigan. So you know this is a very specific time of year dress. <laughs> I'm getting into that territory there. So I went to my stash and whilst I have two fabrics that I would love to make it up in I don't have enough yardage of them and the one that I really want to make it up in I definitely don't have enough yardage and it's a directional print so it's not like I can even get creative with the cutting out of the fabrics but as I have mentioned I am going to the Festival of Quilts next week so I have four meters of uh, 45 inch meters long inches wide I, I don't know either 45 inch wide needs for, uh, for, uh, 4 meters 3.9 meters and then 60 inch wide needs about between 2.8 to 3.2 meters so festival of quilts I'm gonna have a look and I, I think I kind of want to make this in a quilting cotton because I just like the idea of doing this with some bright prints I have seen a couple of people who have uh, used a print on the top and then color a uh, solid color from the waist down which was so so stunning there was a lady who's made it with bb8 fabric and she's put a trim around the bottom of the skirt and oh my goodness that one is amazing so that is a possibility however if i don't find anything at the festival of quilts i do have this michael miller bed of roses on a gray background which i think would work really well for a early spring or autumn dress. I have already made a little shrug that I could even wear over the one with the turn back cuffs because the shrug sleeves are very, very wide. So this one is a definite possibility for that dress. And I think whilst it is quite a large print, I think it will work with all of the panels because they 
they they get wider so I, yeah, I think this will work and I have enough of this I also happen to have this up for sale in my shop I think there is about three meters left if anyone would like it it's 11 pounds a meter just email me and let me know but yes I like this I like this a lot then the next one I have on my list is that I've got in front of me to show you is this absolutely beautiful viscose that Rachel from Stitched Up sent me as part of our we did a little mini KB pattern swap because Rachel's partner wasn't able to take part and I you know she I was like oh well I'll, I'll, I'll do it with you if you want and uh, you're not meant to send each other fabric but she sent me fabric so I sent her fabric as well. This is, um, Rachel's also sent me some beautiful Timeless Treasures red poppy fabric as well earlier this year for my birthday. So I, you know, I, when I, when I sent, I sent Rachel some silk, I wanted to spoil her. Uh, and she likes it, so that's good. And she wanted to the uh, sew over it Eve dress pattern. And when she sent me this, there's three metres of it, which is the perfect amount for the sew over it Eve dress which is what I'm wearing here so I think that's what I want to do with this one and again as I mentioned this one's got peachy roses on it this is a peachy color I have a shrug already made that would work really really well for this which I kind of like wearing over this sort of dress so there's that one then I've been mentioning it I mean, I'm not sure if you've heard, but I'm going on holiday. I'm so excited. Uh, but not only am I going on holiday, I'm going on th three. I'm going on three holidays. I am going to Croatia. I am going to Ibiza for a friend's wedding. I'm going to Menorca as well and to our my family's timeshare that we have there so that's going to be a girly holiday with mum big bird and our friend Anne. Ibiza as I said I'm not sure who's coming with me as yet mum said she would if we can't find anybody else that wants to go small girl type creature is going to come if she can get the time off of college otherwise I'm going to go by myself because my friend is getting married out there so yes but because I have all of these holidays coming up, it's 24 days that I will be away for and I won't be daily vlogging because I am not going to try and drive myself crazy sitting in the hotel lobbies trying to upload on, you know, everybody's Wi-Fi upload videos whilst I'm away. So I have asked the peeps and what you guys would like to see and a series of mini tutorials got a resounding yes vote. So I'm going to do things like how to French seam, how to French seam an inseam pocket, how to French seam an armhole, how to insert a collar and collar stand, how to measure for button placement, uh, how to finish a facing with a bias bound hem, and the list goes on. So I need to make some stuff to do those tutorials. And I don't want to just make samples because to me, that would drive me nuts. I want to make an actual thing. So I am going to do the McCall's 6696 shirt dress, but I am going to put on a full circle skirt and I'm also going to take out the back pleat and put in a darted bodice back and I'm probably going to steal that from the Deer and Doe Bruyere shirt. Now, I am going to use this gorgeous fabric that was sent to me by the lovely Lynette, Lynette for my birthday. Isn't it beautiful? It's Lady McElroy and it's called Peony Surprise and I think Lynette has some of this left in her shop so I will link that down below for you. But she sent me, and unbelievably kindly, she sent me five metres of this as well as fabric for mum and fabric for my dad for a shirt. So there is going to be more than enough of this for me to make a full circle skirt Pan, uh, to put on to the bottom of the McCall 6696 shirt dress and I think that's going to be amazing because whilst I love the 6696 shirt dress and I have five of those in my wardrobe I do and I do like the pleated skirt I really do like the pleated skirt I'm having a bit of a fixation on a circle skirt on a shirt dress especially after making the 8577 so often well twice now uh, I have three I have three more of those planned um but yes that's what this is going to be i'm very excited so i have quite a few more things on my list and i'm actually going to go and grab my handbag so i can show you the fabrics two secs don't go anywhere i'm back right so uh, i bought this tropical leaf twill from l kilo in lanzarote back in january yes january we went on holiday in january and i also got this faux green leather and i've got four meters of this and I bought two meters of this and I made this Celine bag 
um, from Swoon Patterns. This pattern is part of the Bag of the Month Club and it won't be available until I think November, the actual pattern. But I highly, it's called the Celine Tote and I highly, highly recommend it. Love this, love this a lot. But as I say, I'm going on holiday. So I want to make myself the Chris W Designs Luna bag and I want think I want to make the full moon but I'm going to check with Chris that that will fit it will be compatible with hand luggage sizing I think it is but I just want to double check because otherwise I'll make the half moon because the, the bag pattern comes with three sizes the mini moon or the quarter moon the half moon and the full moon and I want to make it with these fabrics I have hand on moustache <laughs> there we go yes I want to make it with these fabrics because I think that's the awesome and I love them and yes so there is that and it's on my hashtag 2018 make nine and we are halfway through the year past halfway through the year now and I think I've only made two things off of my grid of nine so I need to pull my finger out yes I do so I'm going to make the lunar bag and then I from Chris W designs as well I also want to make the penny in in this fabric to go with this purse and the reason I want to make the penny in is because it is a very large purse and I think it's going to work really well as a travel purse because you can have it crossbody with the shoulder strap it will fit my passport in it and my travel documents in it with ease and it will also double up as like a clutch for the evening but it also ties in with my handbag that I'm going to take with me which is this one so I'm gonna make that. Then I've got on this list, I'd like to make a, a luggage tag if I can, again, out of these fabrics. I would like to make a passport cover. And I also want to make a sleeve for my MacBook. And then the final things that I have on my to sew list for August are bikinis and swimwear. So I have this pattern and this pattern from Evie La Louvre and I want to make those up in some of the scraps of scuba that I have from all the scuba dresses that I've made uh, at the beginning of this year and all of last year and I've got the elastics, I've got the fold over elastics, I've got the swimmer elastics so yeah I'm going to attempt to make my own bikinis and I need to do that because the bikinis that I have, the shop bought ones are about two sizes too small for me at the moment and they are indecent so I need some swimwear and I have loads and loads and loads of scraps so there's loads of wearable muslin fodder in there and then fingers crossed I can't imagine that they're going to be super super time consuming to make once I've got them down so fingers crossed I can end up with quite a few different bikinis because as I say I'm going away for 24 days 24 did you get that so there's going to be lots of swimming happening over those holidays swimming pool I'm so looking forward to swimming pools that I love this heat but if you can't immediately dunk yourself in a swimming pool when you need to it's also the worst thing in the world <laughs> so yes I have a few other projects that I would like to get done but I also have four necessary clutch wallets from my patreon peeps this month so I will be getting on and getting those done as well and then if the extra projects happen I will be filming them and then I'll, I will obviously be showing them to you in my August lookbook so yes as ever massively overly ambitious sewing plans but we will we shall see i i think i can get some of those done <laughs> i say that every time every time so i really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye